Okay, so this is gonna be a quick one. We're just gonna add the ability for a user to unsubscribe from the notification email. And we're gonna just make sure that that link is secured or unique so that you can't just pop a random user's ID into the browser and then just hit unsubscribe. So let's jump in. Okay, so the first thing that I wanna do is inside of um, the projects in the schema, what we wanna do is we wanna add uh, a unique um, ID. So it's basically a authentication token or is it, well, we can, we, let's just call it an auth token and it's gonna be a string and it is optional. And then we're gonna just map that to auth token here. So we're gonna add that and run um, migrate. Just to push that through. And then let's go have a look at what that does. So if we jump into a database, we're gonna have now an auth token here. Right? Now what we're gonna do is whenever we send our email, we're gonna generate a new auth token so that that can be updated and unique per email. Because what we don't wanna see is for someone, if we had an API endpoint like this, someone could come along and just if they found out the project ID, they could just swap that out and then just hit that and run that for every single project and just unsubscribe everyone. Um, definitely something we don't want. So what we'll do is inside of our source, inside of our mailers, we've got our weekly digest mailer. So when this runs, this is doing a couple of things. So it's generating the HTML here um, and then it's sending our email, but inside of our job, what we can do here is before we send it, we wanna generate the auth token. All right, so every time we send this email, we're gonna generate a new auth token and that's gonna set against the project. So to do this, it's going to be um, generate auth token result generate auth token, and that's almost there, but not quite. Um, so in here, we're gonna have a method. And what we're gonna do inside here is we're gonna do Prisma. Ingest client post, no, that is not it. But, um, so let's grab Prisma. So in here, we're going to have, grab that. And then what we're doing here is we're gonna return a wait, Prisma, and this is gonna be project dot update. And we're gonna say where ID is going to be the project ID and the data will be auth token now this is gonna be a string, so we wanna see, do we have an MD5, no, sorry, not MD5, UUID package somewhere that we've used. This is the one. So we're gonna grab this. And we're gonna generate a UUID. So we're gonna generate a new UUID there. Okay, so that's gonna be the generate auth token result. So whenever we send, we're gonna update the project here. Now what we need to do, you know what we're gonna do? So I'm gonna pull the auth token out here to that. There. Right, and then we're just gonna set that there. And the reason I'm pulling it out here is so that we can, so this is save auth token result. Now what we're gonna do is when we send this email, okay, I've realized we need to generate this auth token before we generate the email. So we're gonna shove that in here. So that's the first step we're gonna do. We're gonna generate the auth token. We're gonna update the project and save it. I don't know if we actually need this result. So we're gonna just 
run that step. And what might happen here, because remembering in the generate email, we are refetching the project. So what we're going to do is let's go here and we can send the event. So the event name is this one and the data is project ID and the title is test. All right. Now we're going to get this. We're going to update the thing. We're going to set the auth token. Now, when we generate the email, right? So we're running this method. We fetch the project again. So what we should be able to do is get the new, when we generate this link down the bottom here, so we're passing in the project into the digest email. And then when we generate this unsubscribe email here, we're going to do something slightly different. So what we're going to do is we actually need to fix this up a bit. So we're going to need to grab the base URL. And then we're going to say projects slash. And then what we're going to do is have the project ID here. And we're going to say unsub. Um, we're going to say disable notifications because that's the endpoint we're going to do. And then we're going to say here token. And this is going to be the project token. So it's going to be project dot auth token. And this is going to be project dot id. Okay. So we're going to go to the base URL projects. It actually has to be API slash projects, project ID, disable notifications with the token of the auth token. And then by providing this auth token, and we know it's unique per email, it's, it's going to be very hard to actually guess that. Um, so that makes that link. So let's see if this works now. So if we hit send event, so we can see there it's generated the auth token. Then it ran this. And here, and let's see if we got the email. So there's our link. So we'll just grab that for now. Okay, so this is what we've generated. There's the project ID, and then here's the token. All right. Now, if we send that again, replay that. Is our new one. If we paste that, you can see here the token's different. Okay, so that's unique now every time. So that's good. So now what we can do is we can add in the page in the API and we're going to add a folder called projects. So what we're going to do is we're going to match this um, route. So we've got projects and then we've got the ID and then we've got disable notifications. So inside here, we're going to go a new folder called project ID. And then inside of that, it's going to have disable notifications.ts. Yeah. And then I have written this one earlier. So we grab this and we're going to dump that into here. So what we're doing is we're importing Prisma and the types. So these are types. Um, and then what we're going to say is export a handler function. And then we're looking for the query. We're getting the project ID. And then all we're doing here is we're saying await Prisma project update because what we're going to do is disable notifications. But what we want to do now is where the ID is project ID. So this is the unsecure version. What we also want to check here is where the auth token, right, is equal to. And this is going to be in the query as well. And this is going to be auth. I think it's just, so we just made a token. All right, and then we're going to say where auth token is token. Before we do this, we're going to just return for now this get request. Just going to return back the variables for us so we can check them. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to that. So that doesn't work. I mean that just returns project ID, but what we need to do is also return token. So we're going to append that to here. Now you can see we're getting the token back. We're going to now use those two things in here. 
So this is actually going to be project. So now we can return the project ID and the pro or we can actually just return the project. Okay. What's this saying to us? That's fine. Um, cool. Now, when we run this, we expect that this project is updated and we return this. So at the moment, as soon as we run this, what are we getting? We're auth token. Okay, because that's not unique. That's why it's prisoners are not going to let us do that. So I think what we have to do here is, so we use update many instead here. And then now when we run this, it's giving us a count of zero. Let's just see why. So we're looking for project 1079, this one. And the auth token should be this. So with the wrong auth token, we've updated nothing. With the right auth token, we've updated one. That's great. Cool. So now when we look in this database, notification enable, if I refresh, disabled. And that's what we want. So we check that before sending the email. So now we should be able to, to do that. So now what we can say here is, um, we basically just want to say uh, message. We want to, JSON's not the best way to render here. So we can just say uh, notifications for um, project.title have been disabled. So we're going to turn this to back tick so we can interpolate that string. Safety check this for us. Now, unfortunately, this is not going to return. We, what we'll do is we'll just say pro, notifications for project have been disabled. Because this is a update many, um, it's going to have multi, it's just going to have a count. So we're just going to await that. Uh, and then we're going to say there. So now if we do this message, notifications for projects have been disabled. Now that isn't the prettiest. So if we send a string, okay. So realistically, what we could you, you could do here is you could just redirect, but I just don't know if that's going to be clear. So you want to you want to render some sort of component but I mean for now what we can just do is that we'll render that string um, so that's all right definitely that one can be worked on in the future just to make it uh, better looking but for now we'll just do that cool well yep we'll leave it at that for now um, cool so that's how we can validate and disable notifications using the link that was a nice and easy one Catch you on the next one.